A few of you asked for it, so here it is. Let's dig more into the story of Timothy Stevenson. In his confession to his husband, Stevenson revealed that he shot Randall Oliphant twice in the bathroom of his house in Kansas City. Oliphant pleaded for his life after the first shot, but Stevenson didn't stop. The probable cause statement obtained by CNN did not mention a motive. Oliphant's body was found two months later in some woods in rural Benton County, Missouri, about 100 miles southeast of Kansas City. Missouri State Police said Stevenson was familiar with the area because his father and grandmother lived nearby and he'd been there many times. In his confession to his husband, Stevenson told him he later remodeled the bathroom to mask the crime scene and conceal evidence. Investigators interviewed Stevenson in 1998, but they didn't have enough evidence to charge him. Stevenson's phone records revealed roaming charges from a cellular tower near where the victim's body was found. In 1998, investigators also tracked down the person who'd bought Stevenson's Jeep Wrangler in May of that year, four months after the killing. The new owner had no idea he was driving a murderer's car. Stevenson was arrested on murder charges in December 2021 and extradited to Missouri. He pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and was sentenced to 16 years in prison. For Stevenson, it all came crashing down after police received new information that helped them piece together what happened that night back in 1998 in Kansas City. That information came from Stevenson's estranged husband. So did a man get away with murder for over two decades? The answer is yes, but thanks to his ex-husband's courage to speak up, justice was finally served. Stay tuned for more news from Virtual Vanguard News. Don't forget to follow us for more updates.